Hi, my name is Jake Soha. I'm the program officer for SICBI. What I'd like to do in this video is to introduce you to Pathable, which is the platform that SICBI is using for its virtual conference. So the first thing you'll have to do as either a presenter or an attendee is to set up your profile. So let's get started. We're starting from our email program. So here I'm just in Gmail and I've searched on the term Pathable because the email will come from the, the virtual platform company. And you will see here that um, as a speaker, it's manager sick the annual meeting the speaker profile is the subject line. And if you're an attendee, it will say something different. I think it will not have the word speaker there, but it's coming from sick the annual meeting um, for with an email address of no reply at pathable.com. So this is not spam. In fact, if you didn't get it, you might check your spam folder. If you did not get it at all, uh, please just contact me. So here you see the actual email, you see our logo for the virtual conference, and you see a little message here. And notice too that it says, hi, JJ. So JJ is not my first name, um, but in the SICBI database for the abstracts, I'm listed as JJ Soha, and this is just populating that with, uh, with my initial field. So your email um, might look the same. So uh, don't think that it's spam or sketchy or anything. Um, okay, so you start here by going down to this button, edit your speaker profile or um, edit your profile. And we click this. This will now open the window um, into Pathable. And it will, and if you haven't set up your account before, uh, as a first timer, it should be claim your account and you will see the SICBI logo here as well. And again, the, the data that was in our database will populate these fields here. So it gives me a first name of JJ and last name is Soha and then my university email address here. Um, don't change any of these fields here, okay? We need them to be the same and we can edit information once we get into the system. Okay, so now I'm gonna click in this field here and type a password, um, write that down of course. Um, and then click on it. I agree to the terms and conditions. And then you have two choices down here, continue to app or complete profile. If you continue to app, it will bring you in, but you won't have set up your profile. So we would like you to click this button, complete profile. So click here, and that will bring you to this window here where we can now um, fill in all of our profile information, okay? So I'm just gonna work my way through this and start by uploading a photo. We would like you to do that because uh, people do like to see faces and um, everywhere your name is shown, um, this photo that you upload will be shown as well. And that's really a nice way for people to um, identify you and to connect with you. Okay, so um, here I have uh, uploaded a photo and it's asking for it to be um, 300 pixels square, but that doesn't really matter. I just uploaded a high resolution image and I can crop that here. It doesn't have to be exactly square, uh, but I do try to fill, uh, fill it with face because the, the icon will actually be small when it gets set up. Okay, so I cropped it there and I'm gonna upload it now. And you see there it's here, um, but when we save everything, it will populate up here and then everywhere else in the conference platform. Okay, email address, as I said before, keep that the same what we have in the system. That is your unique identifier and that connects everything here in the, in the, in the platform. In fact, if, you're, if your email address is not correct, then if someone tries to search on you, um, they will not, it, they will not find you associated with specific abstracts, okay? If you see that, uh, please let us know and we will, we will fix that problem. Okay, um, now as far as the name, that you can now edit. So I don't want JJ, I would like Jake. And so I type that in there. Uh, my last name is fine. So this is the name that you, you choose that everyone sees you as, okay? These, the data here is not going into any um, uh, database beyond what's in the conference platform. So you don't have to worry about um, Google Scholar or other things like that. Um, so put what you prefer for people to see here, okay? Um, 
And you, you can also add a credential. So if you wanted to add PhD or whatever, you can. I choose not to uh, because um, that, that's just my choice. Um, I think that at SICBI, it, it makes for a more friendly environment, uh, but that's totally up to you. And that is my personal opinion, not the, not the official line. Okay, uh, title, uh, are you a graduate student or your research assistant, a postdoc? Um, I'm a professor, so I'm gonna put that in here. Uh, company, uh, mine is Virginia Tech. Um, phone number, I'm gonna leave that blank. Um, I mean, you can fill it in as well. This is not for other attendees, this is for exhibitors. Um, so if you want them to be able to contact you by phone, put that in there and they will see that only. Uh, but they also have, will be able to contact you by email and by messaging you directly in the platform. So you really don't have to put that in there. Um, description, short description that will show up. I'm gonna keep mine short and just say converted by a mechanist. Um, you can put whatever you want in there to the limit. And then the last thing are tags. Um, tags, you can go ahead and have some fun here. These will be beneath your name um, everywhere in the platform. And so if you click on one of the tags, it will now sort by everyone else who has that same tag. So you can, you can add lots of tags, um, whatever you want people to identify you with. Um, so let's see, snakes for me. And you see it shows up, uh, oops, snakes. Now oh, it's showing up already. Okay, um, let's, let's pick a new one. Um, I'm gonna say experimentalist. And there we have that there. And I don't know why those are not populating. Oh, that's why. Okay, I was trying to choose tags that were already in the system. Um, if you add a new word, then it will pop up immediately. If you choose something that someone has already chosen before, it will show up in a list here and you can choose it down there. So let's say I want bio-inspired engineering. I can pop that up there into my, into my tags. I want insects too, I'll pop that in. Um, yeah, um, you can, obviously you can have things that are more than one word. Um, you can have a phrase as well. So not a pilot. Um, I'm just choosing something random there. Okay. All right, so um, once you're done there, you hit the save button and it now saves your profile. And then, so it tells us our changes are, are saved. Let's go see how that looks. So I'm gonna go up here to schedule and then to my schedule. And now I'm gonna have a bunch of sessions that show up and I happen to be here in this uh, poster session and this talk session. This, by the way, is not the actual conference site. This is our sandbox where we're trying to set things up and see how they work. Um, so the actual conference will look a little bit different. Okay, but let's, uh, let's do a couple things here. Let's go look at this poster. So I clicked on the poster and I can see that my name here, I'm, I'm the first author and then Lori is the second. And so my photo is here. Lori did not upload a photo. And so we can't we can't tell who Lori is. Uh, that's her choice though, right? Um, and let's now go here and click on my actual name. And so when I click on my name, um, all the information that we included is now here. So um, your, or, your company, organization, your, your um, title, description, um, the ribbons, that is put into the system by us. So you do not, you do not choose that. Um, and then the tags. So these are the tags that I, that I um, put into the system. And if you click on these, they will sort by whoever else has that tag as well. And then lastly, um, associated with my name are all of the um, events that I am uh, involved in as a, as a presenter um, and they show up there. Okay, and lastly, um, if you want to change this at any time, just come up here to account and click on edit my profile. And that will take you back to this, this screen here and you can change this information um, as much um, or as little as you so desire. That's it. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.